All right, here we are sitting in the orchard, beautiful day, doing all our planting and potting and all that stuff over there, over on the other side, and we're discussing tariffs because Vicente asked me some questions and I don't know all that much about tariffs, but I know a little bit. And so I'm trying to understand what the Trump-ish plan would be and where you would go from here. So theoretically, you have China making something that costs a dollar and it costs us a dollar fifty to make, let's say for example. And so we need to put a 50% tariff on that thing so that now we can either get it from here or get it from there and it costs the same amount. Therefore, we could buy it here. Therefore, theoretically, if it was a little closer to break even, say we put a 55% tariff on it, then suddenly the things that are made in China could be made here, maybe the manufacturing gets moved to here if there's enough of an incentive and suddenly we have all that happening here, right? So now the things that I could buy for a dollar now cost a dollar fifty, dollar fifty-five, whatever. And that's a tax on me, essentially, because now everything costs more. You have the benefit of theoretically of those things being made in America for better or worse maybe that's good maybe we want that type of manufacturing maybe that's what we want to build our economy on i don't know it used to be built on that maybe that's not the way of the future but who knows i'm not smart enough to make those sorts of judgment calls but i do know that it makes those things more expensive for everyone who buys those things that money comes from somewhere because the company selling it in china has to pay that 50 cent tariff 50 percent tariff on that widget and they don't give that money to me they give that money to the government so now if the government now has all that money that 50 percent tariff on everything that came from china that fits within this scope of whatever they're levying tariffs on then now they have a bunch of extra money so theoretically if if it was tit for tat which things rarely are in the government but they would take that that 500 million 500 billion dollars or whatever let's say let's say there was a trillion dollars worth, worth of tariffs and they put that into let's say the general fund and so then they can offset that to me who i pay federal income tax they can offset that by charging me less federal income tax and now i paid a dollar 50 for my widgets but I paid less money at the end of the year in federal income tax. Cool, I guess. Theoretically, that's a good situation because now we are making things in in America that were being made in China. That helps for a number of reasons, uh, let alone the issues we saw during COVID with um, with supply chains and all that stuff. That's good, right? So, V, hold up, dude. I'm talking. <laughs> Just for like two minutes. All right. So now we have a situation to where things are being made here. That's great. I'm paying more for my things, but those things, but that money is being offset because I get, I have to pay less money to the government because they have more money in their budget. And so it all sort of works out. What if I don't pay federal income tax? What if I'm someone I know that is among the 40% of American households uh, as of 2022 that doesn't pay any federal income tax. Where does their money, where does their remuneration come from? How do they end up in a better spot? How are they not just paying, come on Onyx, how are they not just paying more money? It's like, it's similar to inflation, it's not actual inflation, but it's a similar thing because all their goods cost more money and they're not receiving it back in any way. I guess their money, they could get compensation in the idea that now the federal government has a trillion dollars more to spend so their roads are better or their healthcare, whatever it happens to be, right? Pie in the sky thing that you think the government's gonna suddenly deliver on in an effective way. So maybe that, but they're still paying more for their widgets and they're not getting that money back in any commensurate way. That's my understanding of tariffs. If you can explain it better and point out where my fallacies are, I would love to hear it. I do not know much more than I've said about this, so I would love to know what the, how, how 
you could explain it better or point out my issues because there's a lot of things there I want, but I don't know that these measures are going to achieve that.